day 18-ish of the Grand Enchantment Trail. Um, leaving Safford for the old Safford Morency Trail, take two. Uh, you can see the Pinolenos behind me. Um, there's a car coming, so I'm gonna stop this for a second. Give me one second. Okay, safe now. Uh, this is a connector day, so it's going to be following paved roads, which I'm on right now, which is why I needed to get off it for a second. Uh, paved roads, graded dirt roads, four-wheel drive roads, and there is even a, a little bit of a cross-country section through a wash. Grand Enchantment Trail specialty. Um, my, uh, my town injury, my uh, bathroom slip is much better. Um, I'm still keeping it wrapped though because I don't want my hand to turn into, god there's a lot of mice here, um, <laughs> turn into uh, one of those, you know, holy cow. I'm next to the cotton fields, but like there's a lot of mice here. Um, don't want my hand turning into a latex um, glove balloon. <laughs> Again, like it did last time. So I'm just gonna keep the compression bandage on a little bit longer. I so need to get out of town. I have been in town way too long. I've been going stir crazy. Um, town is obviously dangerous. Civilization is dangerous. So um, we'll see how much of this road I can do today. Um, I would love, love to make it to um, the old Sanford Morency uh, Trail today. We'll see if that happens. All right, I'm gonna shut up. So this is the paved road section. Uh, you can see there's not much of a shoulder, but luckily there's not too much traffic on this road. Um, the reason I'm on this road is because we need to cross the Gila. Gila's gonna be our friend on this trail. Uh, you'll be seeing it a whole bunch more following it for a little bit maybe. But right now just trying to make it as far up to the old Safford Morency Trail as possible. This is today's cross country section heading up Tidewell Wash. Um, actually seems to be almost like a road which I am not mad at. <laughs> um, I do want to add that one of the you know silver lining of my um, two days of injury recovery that I'm pretending did not exist is that I did have time to um, Replace my shoes. I'm not crazy about the color, but I love that they actually have treads that exist I tried to take a picture of my other shoes compared to these shoes and uh, The difference in tread is pretty impressive like I was slipping and sliding even on pine needles up in the Pinolino so um, Now I've got some grip. So that's good following footsteps again. That one I believe is my new trail bestie masochist. We keep playing leapfrog on this trail. Um, at some point in that last section I passed him. Apparently he's having feet problems. Um, but then I got injured and came off to a different hotel for the night. Um, a little bit away from where the, the main hotels for this trail are suggested. And they're like, another hiker checked in here today. And it was masochist. So um, he did not take an injury break um, like I did. And uh, so now he's ahead of me. So probably be leapfrogging again at some point in the near future. It is fun to have a friend on trail though. Again, I like solo hiking, but it's fun to have a friend on trail. Ah yes, one type of connector I forgot to mention. Power lines, transmission lines. So I'm following this for a little bit. Should be hopefully getting up an elevation at some point. Hopefully it'll get a little prettier. Much more scenic now. Look at that, that's beautiful. We got the flowers here. Not only the brittle bush, but these little guys are blooming too. Um, I'm gonna turn around real quickly because you can see uh, Safford below the Pinolenos down there. So, making progress and it's getting prettier. Coming down the other side of Solomon Pass, you can already see um, more active mining activities. Uh, that's what this uh, old route used to be. It used to be people from Safford getting over to the mines over in Morency 
uh, which is still a very active mining area, but they started doing some exploration out here too. So um, the original route um, kind of goes through where they're doing their, their prospect, mining, whatever. So I'm actually going to be taking the vehicular route to um, the trailhead for uh, the old Safford Morency Trail. Looks like I'm heading in the right direction. I wonder if I'll actually get there today. That would be amazing. Cow crossing. There have been a lot of these. These guys are definitely afraid of me. A lot of babies over there. I don't know where this wind came from. There's all wind all of a sudden. And then there's one cow who's just staring at me. <laughs> See how long it takes for him to move. There we go. Getting back up into the hills now uh, with all the wind. I don't know if that was captured being serenaded by cows and the mining equipment. Cows to my right, mining equipment to my left. Uh, kind of pretty here though. A lot more green, a lot more shade than I had earlier. And so I'm just kind of making my way up to that trailhead. Really excited to see what this trail looks like. Clouds have rolled in. Sun's getting uh, a little lower in the sky. And guess what I found? The trailhead for the old Safford Morency Trail. So what I might do, since I don't know the condition of this trail, is I might just set up camp around here and uh, attack it in the morning. Uh, already getting kind of cool geology around here. Just gonna swing around a little bit. Feels nice to be kind of back in the wilderness. Almost done. Okay, that's obviously it for today. Um, I think it was a successful day. I got a little bit later of a start than usual. Uh, first day back, my hand is still a normal human hand at this point. So I think I think that was good to take those unofficially take those days off. Uh, so tomorrow, obviously, gonna be hitting the finally hitting the old uh, Sanford Morency Trail.